What's up, geeks and gamers? Mike and I are back once again with another movie review, and today we're going to be talking about Cry Macho, Clint Eastwood's new movie that just came out this weekend, and the movie that should be called Cry Mach Slow. So, Mike, right off the bat, I just want to hear from you. What are your thoughts about Cry Macho? I have the utmost respect for Clint Eastwood. I have to preface this because, hey, first of all, I'm either going to get shit on for hating on Clint Eastwood or I'm going to get yeah. shit on for supporting a movie with a white man in it. Either yeah. way, listen, I, I have all the respect. I think um, Gran Torino is like still one of my favorite movies like of his personally, but it's very high on my list of movies. It's a phenomenal film. He's a phenomenal director. He's 91 years old. That is old as shit. And I am, dude, I have not, listen, this 91 year old man gets around better than I do sometimes. Dude, he's, he's around better than a lot dude. of people. He's a monster. He's I mean, insane. he even has, his old man gate, like, you know how, like, old uh-huh. men get, like, really high up and they walk like yeah. this? Yeah. His, like, looks like a cowboy gate. Like, he, he looks, looks like badass he's still, while he's doing it. He does. <laughs> but damn, does this movie, is this movie directed like a 91 year old man directed it? Mm-hmm. It's just slow. Listen, when you're on the highway and you see the car and you see it coming, because you know it's going slower than all the other cars. You go, that's probably an old person. That is how this movie is. You're like, this movie's going really slow. Is this 91 years old? I see it now. Yeah. yeah. It is very slow. It is very plotting. Um, there's not a lot of there's no there's not a lot of high stakes. Um, and I I would have liked it more if there was better emphasis on the dialogue because the problem the biggest problem i had with this movie the dialogue is really sloppy Mm -hmm. sometimes like clint eastwood will say something and then the person across from him will repeat a similar idea of what he said and then his response to them is to reiterate what he already said or somebody will say something to him and then his response back is very similar to what they just said to him um also sometimes i can't understand what clint eastwood is saying um yeah he's always had that kind of gruff voice this time around he sounds like this if you played fallout and you know what the ghouls sound like smooth skin this is what he sounds like the whole movie and so sometimes like he'll he he won't chew a dialogue piece he'll just Mm. start through the whole thing and then keep moving and you're like Mm -hmm. what did you just say yeah so those are my criticisms i mean the concept of the movie is really simple old broken back ranch hand guy that used to be like a big big shit in the the um rodeo rodeo yeah in the mm-hmm. circus gets his back broken when he was younger and then how he's kind of just living his life out at this ranch and the head of the ranch basically is like hey man i've done a lot for you i really need you to go down to mexico and get my son um this is that set during the 80s like 1979 is when the movie starts and it cuts a year later like in the 80s Um, so like they can just go down to Mexico with like very few papers and also Mexico isn't the war zone that it is now. It's still kind of a war zone. Um, I'm sorry, Mexico. Um, (laughs) but that's really the concept. Get my son, bring him home. But it literally, what should take them literally like Clint Eastwood gets there really quickly. Like he gets to Mexico right away. No problems whatsoever. And you think, oh, well, what's the difficulty getting back? Literally, there is no very, there is very little difficulty getting back. There's a little bit about the police and wanting to find Mm -hmm. the son and there's a little bit bit of drama, but literally they spend like almost a month in this one spot that they don't have to spend, but they do because they're just kind of having a good time there. They're just vibing. (laughs) Like, so that's what most of this movie is, is Clint Eastwood vibing. Yeah. 91 year old Clint Eastwood vibing this spot with this 13 year old kid who has like way too much attitude and And this very Mexican woman. And this so. very, very attractive Mexican woman who is very <laughs> interested. All, listen, all the women in this movie are interested in Clint Eastwood. They always are. It is a yeah. movie. It's hilarious. Like, <laughs> when he gets to Mexico, the kid's mother, mother, she's probably like in her 40s. She's a very good looking woman. And she's like, he's like, oh, what, what are you doing? And stuff. And she's like, well, you know, she makes some quip and he goes, normally a guy would make that response or respond to that with his fly down. She's like, well, that's the one thing not on the table. And then like five minutes later, she's like, drink with me and he's like i can't i gotta go and then later she's like Unless join she me on my out. bed yeah she's like join me on my bed and he's like i can't and i'm like probably because he can't literally yeah. can't because he's 91 years old and she's like how dare you insult me i'm pissed right now and then like later he runs into this other attractive uh hispanic woman and she's like oh 
that gruff, tough, 91 year old man body. I like it's that like grizzle, a lean, <laughs> I like that grizzle. It's like a lean piece of beef jerky. Um, so yeah, the movie is slow and then yeah. the, re- the resolution of it. Um, I, I know I can kind of see the message they were going for kind of misses the message because of how slow it is. Mm-hmm. I think this movie needed to be like 30 minutes sl- shorter than what it was to really hammer home the message. Yeah. Also, like I said, I, this movie would have been like 10 times better if either Clint Eastwood was just acting or just directing. Yeah. I think doing both is a lot for anybody, especially 91 year old man. And you can see that he was trying to get through this. You could tell a lot of times it's like the first take he'll, he'll stumble over dialogue and they just ignore it. And just like, mm-hmm. eh, it adds grit. It, it adds realism. Move yeah. On. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. You know, check yeah. the check. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's my thoughts. I yeah. I mean, rambled. yeah, I, I totally, um, I, I agree with a lot of the things that you were saying there and stuff. I think that this movie would have been a lot better if Clint Eastwood hadn't acted in it, if he had just directed. Um, I think that somebody with a little bit more um, life to them, maybe, for this, you know, the lead role would be kind of a good thing. So I think that was definitely something that kind of uh, made the movie feel a little bit more draggy. I think that <laughs> Clint Eastwood, he was talking about, I think it was after Grand Tor- Torino, he's talking about how he's going to be re- retiring from acting and stuff and uh honestly that probably would have been a really really good idea (laughs) look i i love clint eastwood as well i'm a huge fan of clint eastwood grand torino is like my top five favorite movies of all time i freaking love that movie so i'm a huge fan of clint eastwood and uh i just i just think that uh he i mean there's probably some roles out there that he could definitely still play but to be the 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 lead role of the guy that's supposed to be carrying this whole movie i don't think it's necessarily the, the best idea um and uh there's so so yeah i totally agree i think that there's a lot of things in this movie that uh could have been cut down i think that the payoff of this movie really didn't have much of a payoff because there wasn't really anything in the movie to give us a good payoff the uh, the ending of the movie was pretty I don't know. It, it was kind of lackluster because this whole movie was kind of lackluster in a way. I think that there was a. I think that there was some pretty good acting from some of the characters and stuff. I think that uh, you know some of the dialogue pieces were. I mean, some of them were pretty good. Some of them were not that great. So it was kind of a mixed bag as far as that goes. Um, and uh, there's a lot of scenes where they were just like sitting around and just talking and yeah, just kind of also. Like, I don't know. Total spoiler alert but not also a spoiler because it's going to happen really fast. Um, Macho is the name of the rooster in the movie. It's yeah. a kid's pet rooster. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's a rooster. a rooster. He has a pivotal role in the movie at one point, but he's, listen, if you've seen Moana, it's basically the same thing. This stupid chicken walking around. Yeah. And then when he, needs, <laughs> when he needs to come in clutch, he comes in clutch and that's all he does. And then they're like, cool, man, rooster. The weird thing about it, though, is that Macho is kind of like one of the most interesting characters in the movie. That is true, because you're always wondering, what is this rooster going to do? And he doesn't really do anything until yeah. he needs to. And then he does the thing that you needed him to do. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's just the movie. The There's a better movie in here somewhere with either a, an actor that was more aspirational or, yeah, or a different person in the starring role that had a little mm-hmm. bit more life to him um yeah. i can yeah. think of some roles that clint eastwood could play now and i don't mean this to be like rude but like he should be playing like the grim reaper in movies or something like he is so skinny and and like listen he's getting around really good yeah i there's no judgment about the age it's yeah. just the fact that listen i'm not ageist i promise yes i promise i'm not <laughs> I'm uh, I'm the least <laughs> ageist person you've ever. I don't even see age; they're just numbers. Um, no, oh, but no. I just he, you could just tell that it's just it's just he just doesn't have it like he used mm-hmm. to. Um, yeah. Gran Torino yeah. should have been his last role, I think, as far yes. as being the character that he plays because he even punches a guy in this movie, and I'm like, how hard was a punch from a 91 year old man? <laughs> yeah, really, real. and you can real. tell like, like there are times where like people in this movie want to square up and fight this guy. Yeah. Like straight mm-hmm. up, you can see it. Like they're like, I'm gonna punch this old man in the face. But I'm like, but if you hit a 91 year old man, you'll probably die. So they don't <laughs> yeah. punch him. No, they don't punch him because he's 91 years old. Yeah. Not because yeah. they don't want to. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um, yeah. Overall, yeah. I just I, I enjoyed the movie. 
I probably would yeah. give it a C plus, maybe just a C. It's mm-hmm. passable. Um, the audience members that were in the theater with us were a lot of old people that were watching a Clint Eastwood movie because they're fans of Clint Eastwood. If you're a fan and you want to support the guy, go see this movie. I won't tell mm-hmm. you, 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 you won't hate it. But if yeah. you're like yeah. looking for an interesting movie to watch this weekend, go see Malignant or Cop Shop. Yeah, um, as this is not yeah. the movie for you guys. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, prepare for a very, very slow burn movie. A very slow burn <laughs> movie that never really, ever really burns. It more smolders. Yeah. Um, yeah, but it is nice to see Clint Eastwood walk around with a cowboy hat. Oh yeah, it's always great to see that. Yeah, yeah, always a good time. <laughs> always a good time to see. I just it. wish he shot more people in this movie. <laughs> yeah, that might have helped a little bit, maybe. <laughs> yeah, if he had shot one person in this movie, but a totally different movie. But no, he yeah. didn't shoot anybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yep. yep so um with that being said uh i'm also going to give the movie i'm going to give the movie a c as well um and that's going to be that's going to be it so with that being said make sure that you go check out our podcast the epic man podcast where mike and i talk about all sorts of crazy stuff like aliens and you know um time travel dimensions things UFOs, like that it's just crazy it's just crazy people hollow so, earth yeah We're all of it for it. all of it we talk about all of the crazy stuff out they're there, turning so. the freaking frogs game <laughs> so make sure you go check out that podcast <laughs> we are on youtube with that as the epic man podcast and we also are on all of your favorite audio podcast platforms and uh make sure that you also go check out geeks and gamers and become a member over there we have a lot of great stuff for members over there on geeks and gamers and uh with that being said hope you guys enjoyed the review and we will talk to you in the next one bye